Hello everyone. This is the A101-1 Dopfer Vectoral Multi-Type Filter. Uh, before I start, uh, I just want to tell you that this review is, uh, is for medium to advanced users, so I expect you to know the basics at least of modular synthesis. Um, as I said, this is a multi-type filter, so it contains a, a low-pass, bandpass, and high-pass filter. Um, I'm going to explain the f uh, front panel briefly and then go to the frequency response of this filter. So what you have here is uh, you have uh, an input for each uh, for uh, for each filter inside. One one input for low pass, one input for band pass, and one input for high pass. These inputs are normal uh, together. So if you if you place a signal into the the low pass filter. And uh, uh, and don't connect anything here. This signal will pass through, will will be normal to band pass and high pass, uh, s uh, unless you disconnect. Uh, unless you disconnect the normalization and uh, enter a new signal here, for example. So this signal will go to to band pass, and this, this signal will go to lo to low pass. And but the normalization between the band pass and high pass will stay so the high pass as long as you can, don't connect the, the high pass the, uh, it will take its input from the band pass you can see it clearly here indicated by the arrows this is the, the normalization as long as you don't connect uh, the filter to something it will take its input from the above uh, input uh, I hope it's clear um, you have also uh, levels for each filter uh, you can for, so for, for you, you can for example you can have a uh, some level for for lp and uh, some lev half level for band pass and uh, and you get the the output actually the out the two outputs here actually mix the the low pass and band pass and high pass and give them to you so you can have whatever mix you have of them you have some some band pass and some low pass whatever okay so uh, you have of course the frequency knob to control the frequency of all filters and you have CV control of frequency um, sorry cutoff frequency this is cutoff frequency and this is cut and this is CV control of cutoff frequency you have also two other uh, CV controls of the same cutoff frequency so and you have attenuators for each of those CV controls so uh, so you can control the cutoff frequency using three CV inputs so for example you can put an LFO here and then an uh, uh, envelope generator here or something else random or something here so this actually saves you a CV mixer okay and you also have of course resonance uh, emphasis or Q whatever you call it it's resonance resonance control a CV input for the resonance and another CV input for the resonance and an, att an attenuator for that CV okay and uh, of course we have our uh, both our um, uh, outputs they are both mixes of the three types of filters the difference is that Mm, actually, before I say the difference, I should rem I should remind you of uh, what this filter is actually. This is actually the Steiner uh, the Steiner Parker filter, modified by Dopfer by in including vectors inside the filter. So uh, vectors are actually uh, their electrical components. They're uh, composed of uh, um, light sensing resistors and uh, an LED, a light emitting diode. In combination, they form a variable resistor. So Dopfer took the the Steiner Parker filter and uh, and replaced the variable resistors there with vectors. That's why it's called vectors, obviously. So it, this gives you a unique combination. Now you, this is not a this is not a purely the Steiner Parker filter. Steiner Parker filter, by the way, is used in the micro brute and uh, recently in the micro brute and uh, uh, Arturia mini brute, and uh, 
uh, I think also there's a module for it from Livewire I think it uses the, the Steiner Parker uh, the two inputs here as I said this is the original input as the Steiner Parker was the what it does uh, the uh, it's just a mix of the three uh, the three filters but the thing is that uh, as uh, when you increase the resonance when you increase the resonance the output amplification uh, increases in this output okay this is the original design of the of the Steiner Parker filter uh, this is different this is modified by Dopfer and it gives you a, no, uh, a normalized or let's say a unified uh, amplification uh, in the output no matter what resonance you have so it's a nice feature you know it's a different thing all right so now I'm going to show you the frequency response of the filter uh, but before that I'm going to show you uh, the signal that I'm getting into it. It's a sawtooth from my Z3000. Uh, this is the waveform, as you can see, sawtooth obviously. But uh, what interests me more is a spectrum analyzer. The, the spec uh, I think it's, it's a better way to, uh, to describe filters using spectrum analyzers because you can see the ingredients of the waveform here. Each and every harmonic is obviously uh, shown uh, to you from the base um, from the base to the high frequencies here. Uh, so let's just connect that input to the filter. We'll connect the sawtooth to the filter to the to the low pass of our filter and we'll connect the output to my micro VCA. I'm using micro, micro VCA directly connected to my interface which is connected to my computer. Okay, and here we go. And as you can see, already uh, while the, the, uh, the cutoff frequency is fully open, it's eating some of the uh, upper frequencies. Uh, I can show you the, the sawtooth again. See? The higher frequencies are much uh, higher here. When I connect the filter, it's lower. So there's already some uh, uh, filtering happening here. Probably you can um, you can change that using CV. All right. So let's have a look. Right high resonance closing and opening the filter still clean even high resonance and obviously as you can see it's starting to distort here there's some distortion in the high frequencies here and this is uh, this is what tra what uh, characteristics of uh, of the filter mm, this is what makes it you know it, uh, that sound or this sound it has character. Right, even higher frequencies, and you can see you can see the first notch appearing in here at the cutoff frequency, which is what makes it uh, self-oscillate. And even with more resonance, you get more notches, and until it begins to scream at you so many notches here just like the MS-20 filter okay let's see let's see the mad pass uh, I'll lower the the LP and higher the, the, the band pass and I don't need to make the input here on, on the bandpass because uh, as I already explained it's normal to the bandpass. So you can see the bandpass here. Obviously the lower frequencies, the, the bass is, uh, is lower here. More emphasis. 
Yeah, that sounds like a bad pass. Okay, let's see the high pass. All right, much lower uh, bass, obviously. More resonance. But I don't know if you can see this. Uh, bass, for a high pass, bass uh, is still high, isn't it? I mean, there are high pass filters that co totally eat the bass from here. You, you won't see anything here. Uh, and I can show you what I mean by showing you a digital synth. I can connect a digital synth here, a plug-in. See, this is the high pass of a, of a synth called Diversion, Diversion FX. Yeah. Lower frequency is totally gone. Yeah, I'm not saying uh, it's a bad or a good thing, it's, uh, it depends on what you want. So let's let's have back our filter. And here's your Oh wait, I did not disconnect the uh, sorry, I did this not disconnect the plugin. Yeah, I'll disconnect the plugin now. See? This is our high pass. Now what I found I found something if you take both bandpass and and high pass. If you increase the bandpass here, look at this. Lower, lower bass. <laughs> isn't that a, isn't that more of a high pass? Yeah, I think so. Let's remove the ba the bass the bandpass again. Again, more bandpass. See the lower frequencies are going off. Well, anyway, that's that's the way it is in this filter. Uh, so let's get something happening here. Uh, let's modulate. Let's modulate the cutoff frequency using my micro LFO sine wave of the micro level. modulate the resonance yeah Th there's one final thing here uh, you have uh, there's one added feature in this filter that if you have all band pass and high pass and low pass on what you get actually is a notch filter look at that look at that dip like a well or something that's a notch filter that's not in the original design of the Steiner Parker that's from Dopfer you can never see this thing happening with a waveform see or you can barely see something. Oh, oh, I'm wrong. You can see it actually. You can see, it. but you cannot see what's happening in the frequencies, right? Well, I guess each view has its benefit. So that's it. Uh, 
multi-type, it's a multi-type Vectral, multi-in, multi-CV uh, cutoff frequency, multi-CV uh, resonance, and multi-out filter. Uh, so that, that's it. Hope you enjoyed.